Today I'm going to show you how to mine for bitcoins using the video card in your computer. Uh, this is using a kind of non-traditional method compared to a few years ago, but it's definitely the most profitable way to mine for bitcoins, especially if you don't have like an ASIC miner or something like that. Essentially what it does is it uses a whole bunch of different algorithms, and whichever one is the most profitable, it has your GPU mine that, and then it pays you out in Bitcoin. So you're not actually mining using the SHA-256 algorithm for Bitcoins, you're mining for a whole bunch of alternative currencies, like cryptocurrencies, and then getting paid in Bitcoin. So it's a cool way to do it, and it's much more profitable than trying to mine um, Bitcoin itself. So essentially if you were trying to mine Bitcoin, you would make a cent per year or something using your video card. This way you can make somewhere in the order of a dollar to five dollars a day. So um, that's pretty nice. This is made in 2018. It might go up or down in the future. So for uh, for how to do this, um, first you go to nicehash.com and create an account there. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, once you get here, create your account, log in, all that. Um, this will be your landing page, and we just need to download their miner program and then set it up to use your account essentially. And I'll show you a couple nuances for that. So we're just going to scroll down to the bottom here and then on the left you can see where it says mining with CPU GPU. So click on that one and then it's just going to have an option right here to download nice hash miner. So just download that and depending on your internet speed it should be pretty quick. Uh, make sure to select the correct one for your video card. So you can check that out using the device manager in your computer. Like if you right click on the start menu, go to device manager, um, if you go to display adapters right here, it should tell you what your video card is. So mine is an NVIDIA video card, so I'm going to choose the NVIDIA download option. The program works the same whichever one you have, it just includes the correct um, driver stuff depending on which video card you have. So when it finishes downloading, you'll have something that looks like the smiley face here. So this is the installation will run, so I'll hit I agree. Um, doesn't matter who you install it for. It'll take just a couple minutes to install it. Uh, the longer process is actually going to be um, running the benchmark of your uh, video card. So essentially, when the first time you run it, um, I'm just going to hit finish here. It's going to benchmark your video card to make sure it's doing the optimized um, mining with your card to get the most money per, per day out of it, essentially. So I accept here, accept again, um, enter in the code it asks for. So it's going to download any miners that it needs for your computer, like anything that's not packaged into the original software. So just let this run for a few minutes, and as soon as it's done, I'll show you how to set it up. So once it's finished, you'll probably see this window pop up to the left, this black window. Make sure to leave that open. Essentially, that's like a command prompt running the miners in the background. So uh, just leave that open. You might even see what devices you have being listed here. So it's recognized that I have a video card and a CPU available to mine essentially. So if you had multiple video cards then this would be a higher number than one. So hopefully you should just be able to um, set up your wallet. So if you just click on right there, if you give your um, nice hash username, so mine's house, how to's 101 gmail.com, it will automatically link to your nice hash account. And then when you uh, when you mine a certain amount, it'll show up in your nice hash wallet and then you can send it anywhere else from there. I think that's the most convenient way but if you click right here, you can give it an address of your own uh, Bitcoin wallet and then just have it automatically deposited right there. So I'll just save that. And now we're actually ready to start mining. So it does a few um, setup things first. So I'll hit start here and you're going to see where it says that it's optimizing running a benchmark. This can take a while depending on what video card you have and a whole bunch of other factors. So don't get worried if it takes 10, 15 minutes, um, but essentially just let it, let it run. And once it's finished, then we can start mining Bitcoin. So once the benchmark is done, then it should automatically start mining essentially. So um, you can see right here on the left, uh, what's going on. It's choosing the algorithm to mine with and then you can also click on the mining details right now right here and it will tell you what it is currently mining with. So it seems lately Equihash is the most profitable um, and normally it's going to give you a number here for like estimating how much you're going to make per day. After you run it for a few days you can get a better idea. You can check out the exchanges to kind of get an idea of how much money that is. Um, right now Bitcoin is around $13,500 a Bitcoin. So that'd be 13,500 times 0. 0.0024721. So that's looking like around uh, $3 a day. 
if Bitcoin jumps up to $15, then it'd be $5 a day, something like that. So um, you're not going to make a fortune off this, but depending if Bitcoin keeps going up, you could make uh, pretty good money. So um, that is the simplest way to mine Bitcoin with your uh, video card. Um, if you want to check out your, your worker statistics, then you can go to the NiceHash website and go to the dashboard, and then it will load up uh, what your workers are currently doing. It'll give you an unpaid mining balance. So this is uh, mining that I've been doing, and it hasn't reached the threshold yet of 0 0.001 to move into my um, Bitcoin wallet here. Once it moves up to that amount, I'll get a balance here, and then I can send it wherever I want. Um, you can also go to your wallet, or sorry, to uh, for sellers right here, and look at your workers, and go to your statistics to kind of see your historical um, average of hashing. And I'm going to post another video on how to mine for Bitcoin using your CPU. Um, some people's CPUs sh will automatically show up, some won't. You'll see mine didn't automatically show up. So if it doesn't, I'll show you how to get it working in that video.